Hello, I'm Chloe Theobald from Charge Magazine and I'm here today with Tim Rees at the Power Innovations International booth here at the ACT Expo live in Las Vegas. Tim, it's great to meet you today. Good to meet Tell you. Tell us a bit more about Power Innovations and why you're here at the ACT Expo. Sure. So Power Innovations has been in the power conversion industry for a couple of decades. We started out in the UPS world with uh, just high rugged, reliable UPS products. Mm -hmm. We've now switched into where we're still doing UPSs, but we've moved into the level three DC fast chargers. So yeah, tell us a bit more about the products that you're showcasing here. Sure. So what we're showcasing today is a 60 kilowatt stationary unit. We've got a 30 kilowatt stationary unit. We've got mobile products and we've got battery connected products as well. So Tim, you, we talked before about reliability was a key consideration when designing these products. Can you tell me a bit more about that and what really makes them different from others in the industry? Sure, love to. So reliability is the biggest issue in the industry today. You know, especially with the adoption of EV vehicles, people want to be able to come to an EV charger and it works. So that was a huge aspect for us in design considerations with the ability to not have a lot of maintenance on the product and with no 480, no problem. That is a huge thing with reliability, but ease of installation as well. We took a modular approach to our product where if one of the modules goes down, the entire system doesn't go down. It continues to operate. So reliability was huge for us. And that's why we've got a little more of an industrial ruggedized look from using heat exchangers. So there's no outside air blowing in on the unit. We don't use any filtering. So you don't have to have that filtering maintenance done and just trying to build the ruggedest, reliable product we can get to the market. Really interesting. So tell us a bit more about the applications they can be used with. Sure. So applications and one of the biggest things, and I'll continue with the 480 yes. no problem aspect, is a lot of places don't have 480. If you look at uh, convenience stores, you look at shopping malls, you look at automotive dealerships, you even look at car uh, repair centers, there's not 480 there. So our product allows it to go in there with very ease of installation. You don't need a step up transformer, which can be expensive. You can spend 10 to $50,000 more on a step up transformer plus your EV charger. So we can go into a lot of different places in one single unit that a lot of the other manufacturers can't. Looking at the, the wider EV landscape, you know, that your, your, your products are responding to, can you tell me a bit about some of the biggest hurdles that you're hearing from your customers, the conversations you're having with others in the e-mobility world about electrification adoption? Right, so a lot of it is infrastructure. And that was our biggest you know, kind of hurdle to get customers into EV charging easier was not having to do a lot of that infrastructure piece, not having to wait on permitting, just quick, easy, get it installed, get it up and running. So really exciting to hear about these products today, but tell us a bit more about the future. What are you and the team at Power Innovations working on and looking forward to uh, launching further down the line? So a lot of it is just inner, inner operability, inner working with all of the new advanced technologies out there. We're working on a hydrogen integration using a hydrogen fuel cell and our EV chargers. Solar applications where we can directly come in with a solar array with a little battery buffer. Um, we've got a battery pack behind you that is with an EV charger that can be put into the back of a pickup truck or a sprinter van. And you think about that as 
like AAA that comes out and gives you a can of gas, this unit gives you a couple of kilowatts, gets you down the road to the next DC fast charger. So mobile charging, you know, the ability to move your charger around. So you're not putting in all the infrastructure for fleets. It's a great application for garages, automotive dealerships again, festivals, things that you're not going to put a permanent infrastructure in. We're looking at battery systems as well. So the ability to use battery systems with our EV charging, which, like I said, is one of the, one of the units we have right here today. It's been absolutely fantastic hearing about everything that you're working on today. You've launched here at the ACT Expo and all your future developments too. Thank you so much. Tim Rees here at Power Innovations International, here live at the ACT Expo in Las Vegas.